Right, we need a net. He's not a bad fish. The stamp of fish in this lake is incredible. He's twisting and turning. You don't mind him kicking off under the rod tip. He's just got to get him away from them snags initially. He's another good fish. It's kind of ironic to say that at home fan because they all seem to be absolute whackers. He's ready. And there he goes. Let's get him out. Okay, here we go. That's the fruits of that little snaggy tussle. I just weighed him up at 30 pound four ounces. Now, it's still an amazing fish, but ironically, this is the standard size here at Home Fen. Uh, but uh, just off that snaggy spot, just in front, lots and lots of bait out there I put last night. But something very, very special happened at first light this morning. The lake was flat calm. It was very, very carpy, as the, as the trendy saying goes. And it's sitting in the sling down there at the front. So we'll slip him back and get that very special fish out. Sometimes, even I can be reduced to a quivering wreck. Um, and this is one of those moments. My heart is absolutely pounding out of its chest because of what's in here. Uh, so, it will attempt to hold what is the biggest fish I've ever landed in the UK. And I can't believe I'm about to say this, but there, is 56 and a half pounds of home fen mirror. I'm just absolutely blown away. Never do I ever expect to catch the biggest fish in the lake. And certainly not when the pressure's on for a DVD. Um, and it was a very dogged fight, but again, I didn't, just didn't realize it was gonna be this fish. Caught over a load of red ammo and tiger nut bait with a bit of hemp, little 10 mil white sauce pop up on a, on a supple stiff hinge rig. And he didn't like picking that up, I'm sure. But weirdly, he didn't sort of fly off. It was a very, what we would all deem as a big fish bite. But because I was locked up, I was straight on it. And uh, it's nice to be woken from your slumber with an English 56 and a half pounder. But what a carp, what a lake. Just absolutely blown away, to be honest. I'm sure the emotion will set in when we've slipped him back. So let's get him in there. 